Hey guys, John Campia here, and welcome to the best damn movie related show on the planet Earth, coming to you live from Collider Studios in Burbank, California. We're so glad you could join us today. Hey kids, Mark Ellis here. I'm going to be at the Comedy Boom Boom in New York, New York for a three day stent next month, so come check me out. We'll talk movies, we'll talk comedy, and maybe you could even buy me a drink. Hello, Schmoville. Let's talk movies and let me see how many times I can bring up Harloff Minor. Hey guys, I'm going to be at the Philadelphia Comic Con this week, signing copies of my movie Death of Superman Lives. So come by, pick it up, we'll chit chat, and let's get sweaty. In a recent interview with Variety, Mark Hamill surprisingly confirmed that Ray is in fact a Skywalker, 100%. Well, I can't help but tell you guys, I told you so. All you guys thinking you knew... Ray's a Skywalker, of course he's a Skywalker. This is a Skywalker story, and it's going to continue to be a Skywalker story, at least in the saga films. It's only fitting that Ray is finally confirmed as a Skywalker. She is part of that Skywalker lineage, and it's, it's going to be like that in all the saga films, just like Schnepp said, and it's great to finally have this confirmed. Now, I'm, I'm going to go out on a whim here, okay? And I understand what you guys are saying, okay? But I still believe she is a Kenobi. Because, uh, you know, first of all, he says her name in Force Awakens. So he, he says, Ray, these are your first steps. And also, my name was mentioned in the Bloodline book. Luke Skywalker himself, Mark Hamill, confirms that Ray's a Skywalker. Whoop de doo this is not news. This is not news, guys. This is not news. I don't care about it. And you know what? Shame on Variety for reporting it and making it one of their news stories. That's all I'm going to say. I'm going to have to disagree with you, John Campia, and, and say that this is a news story and that Ray being a Skywalker is one of the biggest news stories of the day, uh, probably of the month. Well, I am going to agree to disagree. All right, guys, we've gotten to the buy or sell part of our show. Each of the members of the panel is going to be brought up a piece of news, and we're going to see if we buy it or sell it. Studio Behind 50 Shades confirmed today that they are expanding the universe to six more movies. Yeah, this just has cash grab written all over it, and I think it's a worse idea than rebooting the Police Academy franchise with Bobcat Goldthwait headlining the entire series. I'm going to sell this, and I am going to sell it hard. Yeah, that's, that's a sell. I don't know what the studio's thinking. Uh, shave your head and go to sleep. Shave your head and go to sleep, because this smells of garbage. It's, it's garbage. Yeah, I'm going to agree with those sentiments exactly. This is just a bad idea that stinks of cash grab, and it's taking advantage of people who are loyal, loving fans of this franchise, whoever they may be, and you know what? They're going to put their money into that. Shame on you. Shame on the studio. And get the hell out of here with that crap. Now, I thought about this yesterday when I heard the news. And I got to be honest with you. I, I'm going to buy this, guys. Because, look, I like the trailer to Fifty Shades Darker for whatever reason. And I think another six movies would be perfect for this franchise. I think it's a great idea. And I'm not just saying that. I'm not just buying because I do the opposite of what the rest of the panel does. I'm not doing that. That is not the reason. I think it's the worst thing I've ever seen. I, I think this is the worst impressions. Doesn't even sound like me. And I just don't like it. And I don't do that. I don't buy things just because everybody else is selling them or sell things because everybody else is buying them. This is one of the most depressing attempts of comedy I've ever seen. And I have survived Dumb and Dumber 2. I think it's garbage. I think it's terrible. But if he... If he puts Kylo Ren in there, or or Han Solo, or something, or something like that, you know what? I might, I might actually appreciate it. Shame on you, genuine reels, Dominic, whatever the hell your name is. Shame on you for doing this. You're a piece of shit. And all the sweaties out there, when you come see me at Comic Con, when you pick up Death of Superman Lives, I'm gonna give you a pipe to hit this guy with when you see him. 